Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I uh, hope you guys had a good New Year and Christmas if you guys celebrate Christmas. Anyways guys, let's get back to uh, machine learning. Okay, if you guys are new to my channel, uh, be advised I've got many other videos and I'll go into those later. We're going to build a TensorFlow collaborative filtering recommendation system using this data set right here from Kaggle. Okay? As you can see, we're going to be recommending products. Just so you know, collaborative filtering is but using uh, making a recommendation system using uh, you know that similar users uh, looked at or bots. Okay, guys, and I've got collaborative filtering recommendation uh, systems using KNN. I've got them. Um, using SageMaker as well. See that video. I've got MLOps using SageMaker. I've got it all. Uh, check out the rest of my channel. I've got um, Google Cloud deployments, Azure deployments, you name it, I got it. I've got convolutional neural networks using TensorFlow. I've got a regular neural network uh, with uh, tabular data using TensorFlow. Check out my channel, guys. There's almost 150 videos all doing different things. K&N, uh, K-Means, you guys name it. I've got so many videos. Anyways, guys, let's get started. Unzip that if you guys uh, don't know how. You guys just uh, do this. Unzip and then uh, file path. If you guys don't know how to unzip it, hold on. Anyways, guys, import this, import this. Just so you guys know, on Google Colab, uh, TensorFlow is pre installed in its virtual environment. If you guys are using Jupyter Notebook, you guys got to install that as well. Read the file path of the unzipped. As you can see, product name is what we're going to be recommending. Okay, and then the product ID and the rating, because this is collaborative filtering. We're going to drop these three on an axis of one. Here's the new data frame. DF equals DF drop, remember that. Import these right here. We're going to use the Minimax scaler for encoding. Um, as you can see, um, as type floats, inference transform, reshape on that index, drop duplicates, user ID, username, pivot, fill in A, because the remember guys, we use the pivot table to uh, for collaborative filtering. See my other video using KNN. Okay, uh, import TensorFlow Comfat. V1 as TF to disable the behavior. Okay, product name, because remember guys, that's a little target right there. Placeholder, and guys, we're building the neural network and we got to do encoders and decoders. Remember that, guys. Speaking of encoders and decoders, see my neural translation machine, where we do that too, English to Russian, in uh, English to Spanish as well. Okay, using the depth function for the encoder and the decoder. And the weights and the biases. And we're going to use sigmoid function. Seize my sigmoid function videos for binary classification using convolutional neural networks. Encoder X, decoder, encoder NOP, Y pred equals decoder OP, Y true equals X. You guys see? <clears throat> now we got to do the loss function, root mean squared error, Y true, Y pred, because we got to cross validate, remember? Okay, the RMS optimizer loss is uh, 3%. Okay. You guys can change that parameter to 0.2 if you guys want also. 
init the global initializer and then pred data equals the pd data frame you guys can change the epochs to 110 to 120 if you guys want to uh, increase the accuracy session run on init local init number of batches divide the batch size okay and then the user matrix and the number of batches we're going to use this range the average cost is zero okay the user book matrix the loss and the optimizer and then uh, we're going to use a little boolean logic right there for number one for the average cost because we got to keep it going okay and then the average cost and then mp concate remember guys numpy is for computing session run user book matrix um the pred columns user id product name rating keys user id product name okay and then the top five ranked remember what we are gonna do this is how we here let's skip ahead for a second as you can see um we're gonna go back to that it's down to three percent at 100 epochs you guys can remember add more epochs if you want it more accurately the top five ranks remember guys we're going to use the loc function to cross reference for user 19. as you can see user 19 and then uh, the df head of five remember we're going to be going to look up five zero Remember, guys, these were encoded, the product name. You guys can do enforce transform like if you did with the label encoder. Just so you guys know to look it up to cross-reference. Okay, there's the rating, the product name. Because remember, guys, there's five because we put five right here. And then uh, this is just to look it up, remember? So if you guys want to look up another user, put it right there as well. Okay, so let's go back to that. The pred data, remember guys? The pred data, we were looking it up. The columns, the product name, the rating. And then group by user ID. Okay. So anyways guys, just so you guys know, um, I'm going to be making more videos in the future. So just so you guys know, uh, if you guys have any more ideas for any videos you guys want me to do, feel free to uh, comment. I'll get back to you. I remember I, I'm going to get back to reinforcement learning for recommendation systems. I'm going to do a video for that one soon. And I'm going to another, release another video soon as well. Different topic. And if you guys uh, are interested in image processing, I'm releasing another video for that soon, and I have uh, RCNN as well, pre-trained using yellow, how to label video data. Check out that video. You know, there's multiple playlists, including AI and ML web apps, just so you guys know. You know, I've got it, everything on my channel. I'm very well-rounded. Everything from ML ops to basic data science. So, uh, if you guys, uh, you know, are interested in other stuff, if you guys are here for something else, there's something else you need as well on my channel. I guarantee you. And feel free to share my videos. Feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, hit like if you liked it. Anyways, guys, uh, just like I told you, um, if you guys want to make it a little more accurate, add more epochs. Don't match with the batch size. Use this batch size right here. Unless you guys want to go off and do it on your own. And just so you guys know, uh, whenever I make videos like this, uh, you guys should build on it. You know? Like my reinforcement learning videos. Make them more accurate if you want. Or apply code from another video that was relevant to that one. Tweak it. Make it your own. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys learned from my video, and I hope you guys liked it. Stay tuned, and uh, I'll see you in a bit. Thank you, guys. 
And uh, one more thing. I'm going to release another video soon. And uh, it's going to be different as usual. Anyways, guys, uh, thank you. Bye.